What's up, guys? Welcome back to uh, Discount D and D. I'm Cadric Bash. I'm the DM. I'm in business at one. Bye. Mortimer Smith. I'm dropping on my letter over here, but uh, you should know me as Blue Noe. <laughs> no Dammy. No no Blue Noe. <laughs> so we had another series going. Um, we actually got into it pretty well, and we had a handful more episodes recorded, but the audio was lost. We we could not save it. We tried. We sent it off to people we know. They tried. It just... No. We couldn't use it. So, I tried coming up with a story to infuse the other characters, and we could have left off at the episode 3 and moved forward. I gave up. said, screw it. We're just rolling all new. Makes it easier. Um, I could pick up the story straight up. I don't have to try to find a way to mix your other characters in. So, I sat down with each one of you. We've created characters. Keep in mind, this is homebrew. So, some of these races aren't in the player's handbook. I play the way that I want to play D&D, not the strict rule set. Those are my dice. They're over there now. We don't need them <laughs> at this moment. Um, I can use one of these, right? Well, we don't need dice right now. Yeah. No, what I need. Yeah, yeah, you can use one of those. <laughs> no, I'll probably use the other one. That's... Please use the yellow one. I hate yellow. And that's the one I got stuck with. I'll take the blue one. Between blue and yellow. I'll take the blue one. They only have four of those. It's okay. So I bought a mini one. I just don't like yellow. So this is gonna be what this is gonna be what we call episode zero. Uh, we're gonna go around, introduce each character. Um, they're gonna give you the lay of the land on their characters so you can get to know them. Um, we're gonna get well, I say we. Nice. That probably echoed through there pretty well. This guy over here is going to be the one that goes through and uh, he's going to get the character cards created. So when this goes up, we should be able to flash up each character. Yeah. And it'll give you their stats on there. Um, and then I'll give you guys the lay of the land, give you the backstory of what's going on. Playing of land. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll give you guys the backstory. Like, what kind of guy do you think I am? <laughs> Lay my whole land in front of everybody. And then uh, when we get the chance to meet up again, we'll start episode one. But uh, today is just going to be introductions of the characters, the players, and I'm going to give you guys the backstory of where you, where you guys are going to be, what's going on around you. All right. Sounds yep. like a plan. So who's starting? I say we roll for it. Yeah. I say we roll for it. Sounds like fair way, really. Oh, I don't have oh, yeah. any why is the lowest number? Six. He's like, I'm using mine. <laughs> I'm rolling my D20. Which is still getting you a one. Five. Six. So, we're just going to go this way and we'll go clockwise. <laughs> yeah, let me start with him. <laughs> yeah, even though I got yep. a six. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're starting off with you, Mr. Blue, no damn me over here. All right. What are we playing today? So, my character, this uh, campaign, is going to be a uh, half orc cleric. He's going to go by the name of Kal El. That's um, K H A L A L. He's coming in at 6'7, 280 pounds of tankiness, beefiness, all kinds of um, vengeful, Sailor respecting, Mr. equality, stretching the truth. <laughs> Alki, you'll ever know when me. Um, it's pretty much the lay of my land, I guess. <laughs> uh, He's as a far as my weapons go, I'm walking around with a Warhammer and some daggers, or a dagger. Um, hey, you and daggers. Yeah, I kind of want something a little bit long range because I don't mind getting up close and personal. The thing this is, huge, I gave him the choice of a light crossbow or a dagger, and he chose a dagger. I am, like I have those. <laughs> well, you'll find out what I. Have. Yep. <laughs> you don't um, want so he's a sailor. He's a cleric. <laughs> um, um, oh, Daryl. Oh no. no. He's a cleric <laughs> that likes to stretch the truth. Right. And he's also an alcoholic. Yes. That respects people's people that, opinion. Of course, yeah, yeah, that yeah. respects people and treats them as equals. Yeah, because you should always. At least so, I'm not the alcoholic. But, you know, mm. I don't know how everybody else rolled. So he's the cleric. Um, <laughs> Hashtag I respect everybody. <laughs> also, he's probably the sexiest character of the entire group. Exactly. We have come down to figure out I'm like the, the charisma Brad, score. I'm like uh, the Brad Pitt of orcs. Your charisma score. Is your sexiness? Who's your charisma? Basically, uh, my charisma is at eighteen. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably the scariest. So, um, okay. Well, I'm a dragonborn monk. 
I go by the name Omar o- Omaru Abadir. Um, I'm an outlander, which means I basically try to stay away from everybody, right? Um, I'm neutral, so I don't really I'm not for good. I'm not for evil, I guess. As long as it benefits you and doesn't get in your way, you don't well, care. <laughs> um, not really that. I don't think that's my final call, but I think we'll talk about that later on. Um, my personality trait, I'm, I'm a guide. Can, like, that, was, does that mean anything, though? Like, not really. <laughs> no. like that. I'm a guide? <laughs> <laughs> um, but basically, with the question marks I... <laughs> Don't like wealth, be people or wealth in general. I'm more of like a. Uh, you believe in the, everyone should have to work hard, and they can't be. They shouldn't be born into the wealthy. Mm-hmm. You don't like nobles, wealth, royalty, nothing of that matter. Um, I like nature over people. <laughs> I'm the last of my tribe, and I want to be a legend. I want to be able to be known <laughs> somehow. And um, I do not back down from shit talk, but I do a lot of shit talk. <laughs> yep. I'm, yeah, I'm saying it's work? six. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if I you start shit talking, he's gonna, gonna start shit talking right back. The, <laughs> fuck you, playing. know I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you too, Wanderer. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Zay. <laughs> That's pretty much what's gonna happen a lot. You're gonna start random fights with like waitresses and stuff. Right. You're thirsty? What the fuck than... you trying to say? I'm thirsty. What? Like I haven't got laid in a minute? What the fuck you trying to say? Oh, calm down. You want some water? <laughs> really? Fucking touch me. Don't shit, right? I'm a red, I'm a red, uh, dragonborn. So that means he can breathe fire. Yeah. Sweet. Um, does he need a license for that? No, because it's, it's not, ability. yeah, it's not considered magic. It's natural. But then again, dragonborns aren't a very common race in this world. So... <laughs> They may think he's magical. We'll figure out that as I go. <laughs> they were recently added, though, right? That's what I was... Yes, hearing. and the world that you guys are going to be in, and I'll explain it in a little while, is is a very different world than what we played in last time. Oh. Nice. That's all you're going to say? Yep. I'll ex- <laughs> after we're done introducing you guys, I will explain the rest of the world. To us, <laughs> yep. To you guys and to the camera. <laughs> I'm 34 years old, by the way. You're a princess. <laughs> <laughs> um, a literal princess. My character goes by the name of Athena. She's a fighter whose race is a fallen Asimar. Yes. Um, I'm neutral, and yeah, I'm noble. So yeah, I'm a princess. Um, sadly, I hate. The board. I, <laughs> I now call them what you called them earlier. Oh, Unwashed <laughs> masses. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was your phrasing. That's the actual <laughs> phrasing. Is the unwashed masses? Uh, yeah. Um. Basically, I do what I want. I don't care what other people say. Um. <laughs> and great. I basically do whatever I want to become a legend or a hero. And basically, my legend motto is I'm a total asshole. So, yep. She has no care in the world for anyone lower than her. Um, she'll do whatever it takes to get her name etched in legend. And, uh, yeah, she has no problem telling you to go F yourself every five seconds. That's going to be fun. (laughs) Kind of wish we had the alcoholic (laughs) (laughs) back. Hey, I might be just as mean as she was. (laughs) No, I don't know. I don't know if you can knock over a tree and make a girl make a scream like a girl. (laughs) <laughs> oh, that episode never went up either. No, it didn't. No. Sad face. <laughs> Alright, so I'm playing Vold Silverscar. I'm a Minotaur, Barbarian, uh, former soldier, uh, full neutral, uh, <laughs> very large and scary, uh, stands at 8'3 and 525 pounds. Yep. And I like to hurt. And he suffers from massive PTSD. <laughs> yeah. PTSD to get set off oh by God. seeing friendlies get hurt, which sets off my PTSD, in which case I go into his a rage. Blinding rage against enemies. Is yeah. that like just physical pain or emotional pain too? Because I feel like it's physical pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's physical pain. Alright, so with that being said, we have our Minotaur Barbarian. 
our fallen ASMR fighter, our drunken cleric. <laughs> <laughs> and what uh, class were you? Dragonborn uh, monk? Yeah, Dragonborn monk. So I'm pretty. So you guys are going to be traveling to a magic rich planet, <laughs> magic rich universe. This world is loaded with magic. Um, it's actually so powerful that they had to put restrictions on magic, creating a class and license course you had to take to use magic. Your magic is also limited by a limiter that they will give you that you must wear and adorn at all times of the rest of your life after you receive your magical license. If you are caught without it, it's punishable by execution on the spot. So, so kind of like how people were tagging mutants and stuff. Yeah, Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I had another reference, but I didn't want to go there. This world, <laughs> this world, as it has grown, has suffered mass casualties due to magic wars and wars over the magic power that lie within the center of the realm. That aligns oddly well with my backstory. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Um, the world you guys are on is called Aether. Mm-hmm. It's A E T H E R. A fitting name for a magical yeah. world. Um, as far as everything that you guys are going to be coming across, you guys are pretty much just out venturing and you wander into each other in the middle of the town. I kind of um, hard to believe that we would become friends though, just meeting each other randomly in the. Strong <laughs> uh, word. <laughs> When we actually yeah, start, what I'm to say, to say when we actually start episode one, it'll be started off by having a tournament of power. Oh. You guys are going to be going through a basically a tournament bracket style oh, fight. This is going to be great. And this is how you guys will learn to meet each other, as you all are participating in said fight. Cool. I'd say it comes down between me and you at the end. Um, first place is going to get 100 gold. And they will get an emblem that represents they have won the Tournament of Power, which gives them 25% off of anything in any shop in the town. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Well, the also, this book. emblem is very, 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 very well known across the entire continent. It means that you are the strongest of the strong. You are the best of the best. Ooh, I I it also will gain you a plus one to any intimidation attempt. <laughs> oh, I want it. <laughs> So, second place gets 50 gold. They get the silver emblem. It gives them 10% off of everything in all the shops. Right. It gives them a plus one to all charisma bonuses. Mm -hmm. Third place gets 25 gold. And they get a bronze emblem. This emblem gives them 5% off of everything in the shop. It also gives them a plus one to all persuasion tricks. Anyone else, you get nothing. <laughs> oh, and you pay your own medical fees <laughs> after the tournament. Can we move to Canada after this campaign? <laughs> <laughs> the doctors will be on call there. They will save your life, but you will exp get a bill. Understandable. You'll also notice that I did not grant any of you healing potions to start with. Okay. That's because we're running an actual D&D &D campaign and not a playful one where I'm going to be really nice. What you say is what happens. What you do is what happens. Okay. If you don't tell me the difference between in-game and out-of-game, I will always assume in-game. This is the actual campaign that we're going to be running. Okay. Chances are, we'll be re-rolling people's characters pretty quickly. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it can happen. <laughs> Well, with 15 health points. Or, uh, yeah. If you touch a poison coated dagger, <laughs> you may not survive it this time. Well, good thing I'm not a stupid gnome. <laughs> we might be meeting a lot of new people. <laughs> Hopefully, one of them will create an asinine centaur. I really tried. No. I really wanted someone to be an asinine no. centaur. They're absolutely fun characters to play. But this world is not much of... of as far as D&D &D worlds go, this isn't a fictional creature world. You know, you got your elves, which is normal, your dwarves, 
those types. Your humans.